In the rugged Zagros Mountains of northern Iraq, a remarkable discovery took place in the mid-20th century. Archaeologists stumbled upon the Shanidar Cave, a site that would soon reveal deep secrets of our ancient relatives, the Neanderthals. Among several important finds, one skeleton known as Shanidar III stood out. This discovery opened a new chapter in the study of Neanderthals, shedding light on their lives and interactions. Shanidar III was not just an ordinary find, it was a bridge to a past world. Neanderthals, often misunderstood as brutish and primitive, were revealed to be much more complex. This skeleton provided clues about their social structures, health and even their potential interactions with early modern humans. For scientists and historians alike, Shanidar III became a symbol of the Neanderthal mystery, challenging preconceived notions. The significance of Shanidar III extends beyond mere curiosity. It has become a focal point for understanding Neanderthal culture and biology. Each bone and artifact uncovered in the cave tells a story, weaving a tapestry of life from tens of thousands of years ago. Through Shanida III, we glimpse a world that is both alien and familiar, prompting us to reconsider what it means to be human. The journey of Shanida III from discovery to study illustrates the painstaking process of archaeological research. It highlights the collaboration between scientists across the globe, each working to piece together a puzzle from our distant past. With each new finding, the story of Shanidar III grows richer, offering fresh insights into the lives of our ancient cousins. Shanidar III was discovered in the Shanidar Cave, located in the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq. The cave is nestled in the rugged terrain of the Zagros Mountains, a location that has long been a crossroads of human history. It was here in these ancient rock formations that archaeologist Ralph Solecki led an excavation from 1951 to 1960. This excavation uncovered the remains of 10 Neanderthals, including Shanidar III. The discovery of Shanidar III occurred in 1957 during one of Solecki's numerous excavation seasons. The skeleton was found in layers of sediment that had accumulated over tens of thousands of years. This careful excavation process involved meticulous removal of earth, revealing bones that had lain undisturbed for millennia. The skeletal remains were remarkably well preserved, offering a rare glimpse into the past. Determining the age of Shanidar III involved several scientific techniques. Radiocarbon dating was used to date the sediment layers surrounding the skeleton. These analyses suggested that Shanidar III lived approximately 50,000 to 70,000 years ago. This timing places the individual in the Middle Paleolithic era, a period marked by the presence of Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. The location and context of the discovery have made Shanidar III a key subject of study. The cave's environment, with its stable temperatures and protected setting, contributed to the exceptional preservation of the remains. This preservation allows scientists to explore various aspects of Neanderthal life, from their physical characteristics to their cultural practices. Shanidar III was a Neanderthal male whose skeletal remains offer valuable insights into the physical attributes common to his species. Standing approximately 5 feet 7 inches tall, he was relatively short by modern human standards. However, his build was robust and muscular, a testament to the physically demanding lifestyle of Neanderthals. His bones were thick and strong, indicating a life of hunting and gathering. The skull of Shanidar III exhibits typical Neanderthal features. It possesses a pronounced brow ridge and an elongated cranium, which are distinguishing characteristics of Neanderthals. These features suggest adaptations to the cold climates they often inhabited. His facial structure was broad and his nose large, possibly adapted for warming cold air before it reached the lungs. The wear patterns on Shanidar III's teeth provide clues about his diet and lifestyle. Neanderthals had a varied diet that included meat from hunted animals, as well as plant materials. The teeth of Shanidar III show signs of heavy use, indicative of not only eating, but also using the teeth as tools. This use wear pattern is common among Neanderthal remains and highlights their resourcefulness. The physical examination of Shanidar III also revealed injuries that had healed during his lifetime. These injuries suggest a life filled with physical challenges, possibly from hunting large game or interpersonal conflicts. The analysis of these injuries provides a window into the harsh realities of Neanderthal existence, illustrating both their resilience and vulnerability. 
Section 4, Determining Age, Diet and Cause of Death. Scientists have employed various methods to determine the age, diet and cause of death of Shanida 3. One key method is the analysis of dental wear and attrition, which suggests that Shanida 3 was a mature adult, likely in his 40s. This analysis provides a glimpse into the life stages of Neanderthals, who, like early humans, faced numerous challenges that affected their longevity. To understand Shanidar III's diet, researchers analyzed isotopic signatures in his bones. These isotopes reflect the types of food consumed with a particular emphasis on protein sources. Findings indicate a diet rich in meat, corroborating the notion that Neanderthals were proficient hunters. This diet also included plant materials, showcasing their adaptability to different environments and food resources. The cause of death of Shanidar III has intrigued scientists since the discovery. A close examination of his ribcage revealed a puncture wound suggesting a violent injury. Some researchers hypothesize that this injury may have been caused by a spear, potentially indicating conflict with other Neanderthals or even early Homo sapiens. However, the exact circumstances remain a matter of ongoing debate and research. The study of Shanidar III's injuries and potential causes of death offers a narrative of his final moments. It is a story that speaks to the dangers faced by Neanderthals and highlights the challenges of interpreting ancient evidence. Despite the uncertainties, each piece of information contributes to an evolving understanding of Neanderthal life and death. Section 5. Significance in Neanderthal Research the discovery of Shanidar III has had a profound impact on Neanderthal research. It has provided a wealth of information that challenges previously held stereotypes about Neanderthals. Rather than viewing them as primitive brutes, Shanidar III reveals a species that was adaptable, intelligent and capable of complex behaviours. This finding has prompted a re-evaluation of the role of Neanderthals in human evolution. Shanidar III also highlights the potential interactions between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. The possible evidence of a spear wound raises questions about conflict or cooperation between these two groups. Understanding these interactions is crucial for comprehending the dynamics of human evolution as they may have influenced the development of cultural and social practices. The study of Shanida III has also contributed to our knowledge of Neanderthal health and lifestyle. The injuries and pathologies observed in his skeleton provide insights into the challenges faced by Neanderthals. These findings underscore their resilience and ability to adapt to different environments, traits that have been crucial to the survival of their species. The ongoing research into Shanidar III continues to inform and inspire scholars. It represents a key piece of the puzzle in understanding Neanderthals, a species that shares a common ancestor with modern humans. As new technologies and methods emerge, the study of Shanidar III and other Neanderthal remains will undoubtedly yield even more insights into our shared past. Section 6. Implications for Human Evolution The findings from Shanidar III have significant implications for our understanding of human evolution. They provide evidence that Neanderthals were not a dead-end species, but rather a vital part of the human story. The physical and cultural traits observed in Shanida III suggest that Neanderthals were adaptable and capable of surviving in diverse environments, much like modern humans. One of the most striking implications is the potential for interbreeding between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. Genetic studies have shown that modern humans carry Neanderthal DNA, indicating that these ancient peoples were not entirely separate. The possibility of shared ancestry and gene flow has profound implications for how we define what it means to be human. Shanidar III has also impacted our understanding of cultural practices in prehistoric times. The evidence of injuries and potential conflict suggests that Neanderthals had complex social structures and possibly engaged in warfare or protection strategies. These insights contribute to the broader narrative of human evolution, where cooperation, conflict and adaptation played pivotal roles. In conclusion, Shanidar III serves as a window into a distant past that continues to shape our present. The study of this Neanderthal individual has enriched our understanding of human evolution, revealing the intricate tapestry of life that connects us to our ancient relatives. 
As research progresses, Shanidar III will remain a cornerstone of paleoanthropology, inspiring future generations to explore the mysteries of our origins.